It's week two of the National Football League. And coming up next is the Commanders, leader at quarterback. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Commanders and the Broncos. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. But meanwhile, for the visiting Commanders, they too were... Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a young man making his first NFL start. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. He'll look to throw. The left side completion to Jones. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Lewis. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. So no gain on the play, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The Broncos send out their punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Here's Ginn. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Here are the Commanders for their first drive of the game. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. I think the hope was to let him sit and learn for a bit, but he was thrown right into the fire in week one. Now we'll see what kind of lessons he's learned as he prepares for his second start in the NFL. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 21 carries, 89 yards, and a touchdown. Field so complete there to Thomas. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. George and he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line now a first down throw fields a quick throw but incomplete second and ten back to throw fields the throw right side here gonna be incomplete this defense for the Broncos, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. First play of the drive is a run with Thompson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. And this one is incomplete. You talk about this Washington defense. They were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, 
head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Here's Fields. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. This is second and eight. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He stiff arms him. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at the 45. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now this is Callaway on the receiving end. And that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Up the middle they go. It's George. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. Fields. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Broncos force the turnover. They'll take over at the 10. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. You see Thompson's numbers from a week ago. 20 carries, 78 yards. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. So here is Washington now to take over. They're leading right now, and on the heels of that victory last week against Arizona. First and 10 as they start this drive. Now a second and 10. Out of the gun, Fields. Thomas brings it in. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Again, Fields. Back-to-back -back catches here for Carter. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A play fake, now fields to throw. 
That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and ten. Play action. It's Fields. He finds his man complete. It's George. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And his kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. He's got Lewis. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this throw incomplete. Another defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Back to throw here. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and nine. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Fields. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's George. Call it a gain of a yard and it'll be second down. Now it's Fields. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Fields now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Now Fields. Touchdown! Antonio Callaway, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Commanders are able to widen their advantage. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now stands at 13. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. They find themselves down 13-0 here as they try to get things started offensively. First and 10. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. And Jones has it over the middle. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. Again, a run with Thompson. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Smith up the middle, shrugs him off. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. 
This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and, and he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. The commander's offense set to take over. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. On first down, it's Fields. A quick throw there is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Fields throwing again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw his fields. He's got the tight end, Vanette. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Here's Fields now on second down. Uh, he's got it. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get. But I can see you shaking your head. I love that. Sorry, Coach. Put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Good. And now the rookie's free. He's inside the 20. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Commanders. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to... And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Complete. This is Lewis. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. A touchdown on a kick return and now one through the air. And the commanders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point splits the uprights and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. No run back here down to a knee and this drive will start at the 25. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Trucks over him. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. Here's Fields. 
He finds his man complete. It's George. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first and 10, here's Fields. He finds his man complete. That's George. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Now a first down throw, Fields. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. One play action, Fields to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Back to throw, Fields. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. I got to think at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, this is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even start to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. Out route, he finds his man. It's Jones. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The throw over the middle taken in. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. They'll set up to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Hardy. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. They'll look to throw again. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Two yards to go, second down. They're going to look to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Thompson between the tackles. Sheds off the tackle. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Smith is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. From back at the four, here's second and goal. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Broncos are able to cut into that deficit. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Washington offense heading out. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and 10. Thomas brings it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Second and 10 now, third quarter action in Denver. Fields. This is caught by Gill. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 44-yard line. Off play action. Fields. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. He's got a man complete. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Commanders get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Denver's offense now set to go. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. 
And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Washington on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and five. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Back to throw again. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Oh, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Throwing on third down, Fields. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now it's Fields. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. DJ Chark, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are on their way to a 2-0 start. Extra point right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Taking it about the one. Escaping a tackler at the 25. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. So a change of possession here on the punt. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. You just kind of feel for the defense right now, this deficit. They have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles. And some hands on hips, some long faces out there on the defensive side. They're like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand how hard it is when you're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now, trying to find that pride inside of them to allow them to continue. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. 
He'll look to throw. Caught by Jones. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, he'll drop to throw. It's hauled in by Hardy. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Now a throw here, hauled in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Back to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Now back to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. The Broncos send out their punter now. Standing right around the midfield stripe. And this one hits at the one. Continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And Washington going to come back out here that? to take over offensively. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. On second down, here's the option. There he goes, left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets to the Broncos' 30. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for Washington, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Denver, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.